Hi, Ashley Lomas here. Today's topic on Facebook is applications. I wanted to give you a quick overview on how applications are actually set up these days, where they're located, and how they are actually taking over your profile, even though you may not realize it, uh, even if you're not using them. So what I want to show you, um, if you're not familiar already, obviously you have the applications tab down here on the bottom left. Um, you can see that I actually have my favorite applications and so forth here. Um, what you can do is you can actually go ahead if you want to look for new applications and go browse more applications down here on the bottom corner and it will actually load up a whole page along here with subcategories so you've probably used to seeing this before so I'm not going to go into great detail on that you can go ahead and then find it so that's where you go and look for new applications as well as being able to search them if a friend recommends something to you um, and you're not seeing it in any feeds or anything so that's a good way to find an application um, but the thing I really want to cover today is if you go to the settings tab here and then go to application settings one of the things a lot of people don't realize is I've kept mine pretty clean here so if I scroll down I only have 18 things that I you know regularly use um, but if you use this drop down here you've got multiple drop downs first one I went to here was bookmarked um, this has everything that you use on a frequent basis um, and then we also have these other options which is added to profile, authorized, allowed to post, granted additional permissions and Facebook prototypes. So what I want to show you is the one really that you want to worry about um, and I say worry about is there's a lot of um, Trojans and viruses that are hidden inside of Facebook that people don't even realize so if you go to like granted additional permissions uh, you want to make sure that the apps here that you're using um, are the ones that you generally want to have extra information for so the ones that I would commonly like to see here um, for example iPhoto, Firefox, Android, iPhone etc um, you know and if you see any apps that you don't really use on a regular basis or even don't use anymore go ahead and click the cross here so that you remove the permissions for it problem is with having almost unlimited permission to your profile is they also have unlimited permissions here as well to your personal information so be mindful of that again you come up here, you go to settings, you go to application settings, and then you have this drop down on the top right. Um, you can go through each one of these and you'll notice that they all have you know, the various different things that you use and you can go ahead and change all the different settings that you want. Um, even if you go to recently used, you know, there's going to be things on there you didn't realize were necessarily set up as an application. For example, here's one, MacBook Pro giveaway. I was interested in a new contest so I'm actually going to go ahead and remove that and sometimes they'll ask you to rate it or what have you. I'm actually going to rate that too. I really didn't like it. So I'm going to hit remove and uh, that actually removes that from my um, profile. So nice thing about that is then it's not going to be clogging my profile up anymore. So now you'll see it pops up and it tells you it's been removed and now it's actually gone here from my list. So that it's very important to maintain your applications on the back end of Facebook. Um, Mine obviously is very slimmed down right now. I'll be honest with you, I had almost like uh, I was about a hundred applications, and my Facebook ran very, very slow indeed. So, hopefully, this speeds up your Facebook for you, and it's a nice little trick to help prevent any privacy issues. And as always, if you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to me. Till next time, take care.